Hello! As many of you may know, Zekers has patched the Nutcracker Crouch Cheese exploit in this newest version 50 update. However, as always, we found ways around this, and today I'm going to show you two new exploits for easily killing the Nutcrackers. As you can see, if we try Crouch Strat like the old version, the Nutcracker can point the shotgun down and just shoot us. But also, if I get any closer, the Nut will just kick me. The first method is another crouch method, very similar to the previous one. Only this one you need to focus on the direction that the Nutcracker's feet are pointing. When you do the crouch method this time, you need to make sure you are always crouching behind the Nutcracker's feet. You do not want to be where the feet are pointing. Then, after the shot, you need to immediately uncrouch and bait another shot. Then, go right back to behind his feet and continue hitting. Alright, so here's an example of how to do it. The important thing to remember is to stay behind the feet and to get close enough to where he can't point down and shoot you. But still, don't try to be completely inside the nutcracker. So his feet are that way. Gonna go inside. Back up. After he shoots, I'm immediately backing up. And it's as easy as that. And so overall, you're just crouching under him, uncrouching to beat the second shot, crouching under him again, and just staying behind his feet. You can also do it while it's moving, just staying behind his feet, and as you can see, I'm not dying. The second method is a jump method. If you jump through the nutcracker during the windup for his shot, he will not kick or shoot you. So you can hit him during this period. This only works consistently if the Nutcracker hasn't locked onto you previously, meaning he's not going into his walking while aiming phase. So for the jump method, you need a lot of space, and you also need to be hitting the Nutcracker as you're jumping through him. So here we'll wait. We're in a good spot. Alright, here's a good time to go for him. So we're gonna hit. Jump through, hit. Wait for the lock again. And then finally kill him. As easy as that. Um, the important thing is, is to be hitting him as you're jumping through him, or else you might not have enough time to fully kill him before he reloads and will just insta-blast you because he'll be on one shot. Now this is one version of the jump method, but the second version I think is a lot safer and will actually completely disable the Nutcracker's AI. So... You do something similar as the first jump method, but instead of jumping through during the windup and killing the Nutcracker during the windup, uh, you bait two shots and then jump through the Nutcracker during the reload. This makes the Nutcracker sit completely still and you can hit him until he's dead. Alright, so just like the other methods, I'm going to demonstrate and talk my way through it. We're going to aggro him and find a place to bait him. He's actually going by the poles, which are always nice. For nutcrackers. So we're gonna bait two shots. There's the second bait. And then we're gonna jump through him during reload. And as you can see, he just lets me hit him. He just doesn't care. Easy. One thing to note is that he can still aggro you if you walk in front of him. And then you might be screwed. So just make sure you don't do that. Another important thing not to do is if you leave him alone long enough, he will go back into a searching state and no longer be bugged standing still. So you either need to kill him during this time or use this time to just get away from the Nutcracker. Alright, to sum things up for the crouch method, you want to wait for a good time, get behind his feet, hit twice. Uncrouch, make sure you're just not leaving him on one shot, and then finish him off during the reload. For the jump method, you want to hit him once, and just hit him as you're going through it. And then finish him off during the reload. And lastly, for the bugging his AI method. It really does not matter, as long as you live, you just need to bait two shots, and then jump through him during the reload. Now, if you want to be an absolute chad, you do none of the exploit methods, um, and you just find something to loop around or bait shots behind. 
But I like using the poles. Or, I guess in this case, I'm going to be using the staircase. So I made two shots. Hit twice. Bait one shot. Bait second shot. Hit only once, because I don't want to hit him twice to leave him on one shot. And then I bait last two shots. And kill him with the final two hits. I guess one of my hits missed. But, regardless, you can hit three times there and be fine. So yeah. No exploits. Always a cool way to go. I do want to say this is a pretty insane exploit find, and so it would mean a lot if you liked the video and subscribed. Lastly, I want to give a quick shout out to Abandoned Hope and Barco in my Discord, who brought the jump method to my attention. However, I am proud to say I found out what made freezing the nutcracker consistent. If you want to post discoveries, have a chance to help in videos, or just talk to me, go ahead and join the Discord. I'm pretty active in there. Link will be in the description. Additionally, if you want a more detailed guide on how to not cheese the nutcracker, I will also put that in the description. That's it for this video. Have a good one.